well, we've decided to take a trek out. Oh, the sun, the sun's so bright. A trek out to the casino, one of two that are not too far from our house. So we just arrived. Hopefully we're not gonna lose too big, but worst case scenario, we lose a little bit of money. We spend a little money on food and we go home. And we so, have a nice time out. We hope. <laughs> so it's the next morning. I don't know if that hints that it was a banner evening or a not so banner evening, but anyway, we ended up playing games for a little while. We had a really good dinner and played games some more. And before we knew it, it was like nine something, which for us old timers, oh my God, that's like yeah, one, the, one a.m. 10 o'clock, <laughs> 10 o'clock by the time we got home. Yeah. Poor Boo was just like, where have you been? Um, I ended up, I, we have a habit of, we spend 20, I have $20, he has $20, and my goal is to leave with what I came with. I did not leave with what I came with. I was down, what did you I You were down, it? uh, like a couple of bucks by, the, of by the time. By the end. You, you, you went out on a, you went out on a pretty good win. So. Yeah, so I think I was down, so I came, left with my, my $18, so I lost two, but he won, so he I, offset my... I was at one point up, uh, to, uh... I, I was at one point up with uh, twenty-seven dollars, twenty-eight dollars over my starting twenty. So I was up to forty-eight bucks. I kept on playing a little bit longer, uh, and I ended up uh, losing down to forty-four with a little, another little win in there. So it was kind of hard to walk away, but I, you got to know when to walk away. So when I hit, uh, when I got it down to forty-four, even I said, "Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm still doing good, and we're done." So yeah, us high rollers, yeah, we walk away <laughs> with big winnings and I'm sure they'll be inviting us to Vegas to, to play and give us one of those fabulous suites. But maybe this is just practice to go to Vegas. We can just keep practicing the penny slots until we, we hit it big. So yeah, it was fun. This morning, Boo's gonna go to his groomers. So we'll see how that goes. That's right, doggy spa day. Doggy spa day. Okay, I can remember what I bought here. Oh yes, one of you told me that Atelier Cologne had popped up on Sephora's site. It's all on clearance, or at least on heavy sale. So picked up this one that I've been hunting for for quite some time. And I got Orange Sanguine also, which these two I got. Um, some deluxe samples during the advent calendar from a couple years ago and I've been kind of milking those and didn't think of them as a priority and then all of a sudden you know Atelier Cologne shuts down and I'm like ah how am I gonna get these so um, thanks to you I'm gonna put your name up on the screen and thank you for letting me know that they were out there and then I got a sample of Bear Look Tint Chloe and Versace Eros. So, yay. It's been a minute since I've picked anything up from Macy's. In fact, I think it's my husband who has the Macy's card. So, we'll see if this comes specially packaged. And kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like in there. It looks like it's just wrapped in Carl Lagerfeld Paris packaging, but nothing too fancy. It's heavy though. Wow. Okay. So, so I got home on Labor Day. There's this package on my porch, and I'm like, I didn't order anything, especially not from Chino, California. And I realized that I ordered the advent calendar from Look Fantastic and there was a free gift. And the advent calendar wasn't gonna ship for like another month or so. And they went ahead and shipped me the free gift anyway, which was actually pretty cool. It's this like faux leather clutch with a bunch of items inside. Let me see if I can do this. It had a hundred and thirty dollar value inside, but it's just samples. So we've got some chlorine items. I like their dry shampoo. Good kind of pure 
fragrance a vibrant floral we've got something mild soap small from DHC clarity ooh Dermalogica Molten Brown, PCA Clear Skin, a candle, nice, RMS Beauty. And Grown Alchemist. So a bunch of deluxe samples. I won't say it's $153 unless this is what they're saying this sucker is. That's a good size cosmetic pouch. Really good size. So that's nice. Thank you. Mr. Boo and I are on our own for another Saturday, and we just got done at the dog park. He had an epic time with so many dogs, but it's uh, really hazy and kind of, I don't know how to say smoky, but there are a bunch of wildfires around, so it's just a kind of really weird and dreary day, but we thought we'd come out before all of the chaos happened. <gasps> the pugs are out! There's a house with like half a dozen pugs. I think it's actually the lady that I'm getting my pug from um, in the future. I'm on a list for a pug. Um, so that house right there had <laughs> just caught my eye. So squirrel, pugs! Um, so yeah, Boo was running around. He met a mama husky who had baby uh, Shep Huskies, I guess is what they are. They were Shepherd Husky mixes and they were just a pack today rolling around doing their doing their things. So we're heading home and I don't know what we're going to do today. I think I'm going to work on cleaning my room a little bit. Um, Got to get some stuff um, put up on for sale and try to maybe have a vlog sale got some items I want to get rid of and yeah we'll see see how that goes was it the best day ever view good morning folks um, it is September 17th? Yeah, it's 17th. So middle of September and apparently I'm coming to the realization that I shop too much, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, all of the um, shopping I did over Labor Day has um, all arrived. So I have to get in here and um, do some unpacking. So I got some stuff from ThreadUp. Got a real, real thing here. Whoops, there it goes. Um, some H&M stuff. This is Coach, which, um, yeah, a couple of things. I'm pretty sure that's a Gucci scarf from The Real Real, but it was supposed to come in a box, so, and it's already open. That's disappointing. So, a little bit worried about that. So yeah, we'll um, review some of those in the future. And then I also have, well, this has been filmed, so that's gonna be posted soon. Did some Target shopping. I heard about this brand and it seemed interesting. So try that out. Boo's excited about something. This I'm hearing is fabulous from Montel. There's my uh, lovely camera in the 
um, reflection and then that also will be unboxed soon that, that that bag over there so lots of stuff coming up this month and I shopped a lot oh look at my messy office all the mess all right well I'm gonna get into these bags and we'll see what we've got Well, let's open this coach one really quick because I'm disappointed in the packaging. I swear the coach used to come in like, even from the outlet came in boxes. Ooh, hello, that's that one that explodes everywhere kind of packaging. So, I mean, at least it's like protected, but that's. If this is the new Creatures collection, and I was expecting more for a presentation on that for sure. So that's disappointing. I ended up getting, um, I think it was the Mini Ruby. Um, I'll insert what it actually um, is supposed to look like. I ended up getting this one because the other one was um, too similar to the pochette accessoire and I just thought this was a cuter little bag. So it's got some handles in here and then the long straps. So I will finish reviewing this at a future date. So as I suspected, this was supposed to be a um, Gucci scarf in its original packaging, it is in just a dust bag. It has its tags. So I popped in there. But um, yeah, it was just kind of thrown into the dust bag. So that was rather disappointing, but it was final sale and it was it's only like 60 bucks, originally 300. Um, so yeah. Disappointing. Ooh, y'all. So this was the other item from Zoma Shop that I ordered. This fragrance I'm hearing fabulous things about. I didn't realize it was gonna be such a large bottle. I got this at a steal. I think it got 70 bucks. Um, I can't wait to unwrap this and review it, but Main French, Orchidy, Vanille, it just, like, the packaging is just killer. It's a two and a half ounce, um, so just slightly smaller than um, LV fragrances, but this packaging is just gorgeous. I can't wait. So that and the, the Montel here, Chocolate Grady, those are coming soon so like i mentioned i had some um an order from thread up i had some credit i had to burn i had sold a bunch of um stuff to them and so i basically got all of this for like eight bucks and the shipping so um this will be a good transitional top for the fall here um i just liked it it reminds me of a top i have in purple so um, that's for now. These two were on super clearance, so they're very sheer. They'll be for next summer, but that one still has its tags on. So just something, um, fun for next spring, summer. And then this is of course for the holidays. So, you know, basically the whole, the whole year I've got covered here but I like to shop off season and find whatever deals I can I can find so it's just a mix of random brands I think the turtlenecks on Macy's brand this is some brand I've never heard of that looks like a Kohl's brand yeah that's a Kohl's brand and then Susan Graver is um 
I know it's QVC, but I think she's also sold at Macy's as well, at least she used to be. So um, I like some of her stuff as well. So <laughs> I'm a woman of a certain age. So she designs for, you know, as over 40 <laughs> folks. But um, yeah, so, you know, a very eclectic mix of items, but I have a very um, eclectic taste when it comes to clothes. Not so much with handbags, but clothes, definitely. We planned ahead this week. We're not killing. We're not killing turtles. Oh, I always had the straws in the car. But last week I didn't. What happened? I don't sure you why. did. You used one of the steel ones. No, because I specifically used a green straw. Oh. Yeah, I mentioned it. Okay. Anywho, we're back, and we've got a couple of custom drinks. This lid is not fitting and is leaking everywhere. Ah. Uh. Not good. I've been. Yeah. We're currently at the Starbucks in Newburgh, Oregon on uh, Elliott Road and Highway 99. Yeah. So Steph decided to do a custom, is it frapp? Frappuccino, yes. And I'm doing um, the pumpkin spice frappuccino. So it's not blazing hot today, so I figured it was perfect time for a fall-ish drink although it's literally leaking everywhere so that's not gonna go well so um go ahead and talk about your drink okay so i went on uh <clears throat> i can't even remember the name of the site anymore but uh, taste of home taste of home yes that was it and it said uh, 12 starbucks drinks to try i tried decided to pick some fancy ass off the menu uh frappuccino type thing i specifically wanted a frappuccino because if i buy two frappuccinos uh by next monday i get 40 bonus stars this one will get me 15 just by itself uh and it is the tiramisu frappuccino the menu didn't specify what size to get it just said to get uh what was it like uh one pump of mocha half pump each of vanilla hazelnut caramel and toffee nut and have an affogato shot poured on top uh, since the picture on the site looked like it was a tall, I figured I'd just double everything up. So this is actually with, well, three pumps of mocha syrup. Uh, one pump each of vanilla, hazelnut, caramel, and toffee nut. And, uh, of course, the affogato shot. Uh, apparently I didn't specify to put whipped cream on it, so this just, uh, is how it is. And they gave me the flat lid. No, they gave me the sippy cup. Yeah. And, uh, well, I just jammed a straw down in there and okay. Um, I know, but it cracks me. I think they gave you a sippy cup lid yeah. for a frappuccino. Cause yeah, that's what not... I, I told them. I said, hey, this isn't the right lid for a frappuccino. And they said, well, because it's not whipped, we uh, put uh, we put the flat lid mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. All right. I'm like, that's not coming through that. Well, I guess you could suck it through that hole, but hmm. it seems not. It's not easy. sweet. It's very coffee. Very coffee, not sweet. I'm not really getting much flavor of anything at all. I think I'll take the lid off and give it a stir. Maybe that extra shot made it too, too coffee less. It might have. And again, I doubled up. Uh, I doubled up everything. Uh, in fact, I, I tripled the mocha Here. part. Is it real quick? Sure. I'm gonna show his his recipe right there. Oh yeah, I must do the Peter Mon uh, thumbnail. Peter Mon thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> she never picks her thumbnail right. So whatever. Good. All right. Uh, nope, it tastes the same. Is it? Pretty much, I'm getting mostly coffee and not much else. Oh yeah, it's like. Well, no, I just got the mocha taste. It's not sweet though. No, at no, all. It's not sweet at all, and I'm not getting vanilla, caramel, hazelnut. But tiramisu though, I, yeah. See, the funny thing is being a tiramisu, yeah, I guess you should have specified having whipped cream because that a tiramisu has, but mm -hmm. well, it has. The and the picture sure looked like it had whipped cream on it too. Yeah, so you, I think you had to ask him. And we did order ahead with the app, so obviously yeah. it was our own fault for um, not being specific. But I think yeah. that's why it doesn't taste perfect, but it does, it does taste like the base of a tiramisu. So like the, the cake that's, um, oh, I wasn't even sure I'd be able to mobile order this because of the affogato shot, but nope, it's it's there as an option in the mobile app. Yeah, you can get pretty custom in there. Yeah. So I did add a white chocolate um, mocha sauce to the recipe for the pumpkin spice, cause I'm not, I'm not a pumpkin spice 
uh, latte fan, but I uh, like the pumpkin cold brew just fine. And I was told, I don't even remember what, whose video I was watching that if you add a pump or so of the white chocolate, this tastes better. Yeah, no, I don't know. Still tastes- um, not, not working for you? Well, you can try. Um, it still tastes like pumpkin. Um, I don't know, ever since they changed it to have the actual pumpkin in these things, yeah, because I'm, 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 that tastes like pumpkin pie now. It's, it's a pumpkin pie frappuccino now to me. Yeah, it's like it just, it doesn't, it's not the same. And it was fine before the pumpkin pie spice. It had the, the notes. Having to have actual pumpkin in it was not a, you know, game changer for me. I blame Vanahari. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I, yeah. So I do this once a year. I'll get like one of each and then I'm done for the season and ready to move on to the holidays. But um, yeah, so I'm a fan. Although I've been having the pumpkin cold brew at least a couple times a week and I like that. That's consistently really good. Mm -hmm. So I picked um, you up one of those yesterday. Yep, had it yesterday and I probably should have done that this time and I was thinking, well, he's getting something unusual i'll try the doctored up um well i figure you're if you're doing a review video then we should get something get something, something to review so so as far as reviews i give this a two out of five it's okay. kind of meh it's it's basically it's a coffee frappuccino that with a bunch of extra stuff that cost extra money and uh, mm -hmm. uh not a value if you're gonna do this if you're a pumpkin spice latte person i would say if you need it to be unusual do caramel instead of the white chocolate mocha i don't think it did anything um to the flavor um i mean it's sweeter obviously but i don't think it enhanced it in any way so i probably would have should have done the caramel although i'm just not a he's he's the caramel person i'm not a big caramel person so team um, caramel <laughs> exactly so i will obviously enjoy it i paid six something for it instead of using my stars like a you know i should have done but um, yeah, not not as impressed. So we'll be on the lookout for the next drink to try out. I blame Peter Mom. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> this wasn't his video. We didn't watch any of them recently. I think he's been on the no wait no he right he's been on the pumpkin kick. He's been reviewing pumpkin things left and right, and those are the last ones I've been watching. But weren't we watching one of his just last night? Yeah, but it was like pumpkin bread or something. No, no, no. You're right. It was the family friendly pumpkin drink. Yeah. But that was this just didn't steamed that. milk with uh, with a one pump of yeah of the pumpkin spice spice. Uh. Yeah, it just wasn't no. So we'll be exploring the different secret menu websites and seeing what else is out there. I heard saw one called Baby Yoda that looked interesting, but I'm not a matcha. That scares me. I'm pretty sure I've seen Peter review that one as well. Probably, but yeah, the matcha thing. But there's a lot of fruity ones that seemed interesting, so we'll check us check them stuff out. But you know, it's September already. I'm kind of, I know, one of those freaky people that likes to plan ahead for the holidays. So I'm all ready for uh, peppermint mocha to start popping its head, gingerbread latte, all that kind of stuff yeah. back up here. So anyhow, hope you have a good uh, rest of your, whenever you watch this. this is well, after a significant delay, my new iPhone. To get it activated, but of course, just like everyone else, I got the purple. Let's see if I can get it out of here. <laughs> so careful I am. like the lettering there is slightly purple it's the dusty purple anyway it's the um pro max so i'm really excited i have never had a pro before so i'm upgrading i've been waiting on um them to do a dark purple i have actually for work the let me grab it real quick over here um I actually have the light purple for work, so that was nice. So I think that's probably what got me through um, upgrading this um, iPhone that I have right now, which is the XR. Um, 
because I had that one as my kind of backup or fill. I always had cases for this one anyway, but so anyway, yeah, when I saw that this was coming out, I splurged for it. So we'll see if that improves any of the videos. Oh my God, this camera is massive. The lenses are massive. Oh my God. You can see the reflection of my teams from work in them, but good God, those are huge. Holy crap. I am beyond baffled. Oh, a little white cover on there, but you can barely see see the reflection of the Coral XR there. Wow. Okay. It's really dark. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, but no, it's nice. So now I have to get a case for that because my Louis Vuitton one is no longer this well i think it could temporarily it's big enough to hold it but um the problem is that the opening will not work so that's kind of a bummer i wonder if i mean it's pretty much no good no one will buy it because it's so um you know, all of the all the phones now have more than one lens. That I wonder if I should just like take it to a cobbler and see if they can punch me a hole that can fit the whole thing. I mean, it's, otherwise it's pretty much useless unless I get I carry around this old phone as just like a camera or something. But I really loved this case too. Bummer.